Now, Infinix is a brand you may not have heard of before, but it's hoping to make big waves across Europe with its great value, budget-friendly smartphones. I recently featured the super affordable Infinix Hot 10S NFC right here on Textbird, but anyone who prefers their budget blower to be bigger and beefier should definitely have a squint at the Infinix Note 10 Pro. Now, Infinix has very kindly sponsored me to whip the Note 10 Pro out of the box, take you on a full-on tour of the hardware and the software, and also test out the gaming prowess with a good bit of game bench. And for more on the latest, greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So what you get in the box is, of course, one smartphone, one seriously beefy adapter, a Type-C USB cable, and you even get a pair of headphones bundled in there. And yes, they are 3.5 mil because you do actually have a headphone jack on the Infinix Note 10 Pro. And Infinix has also kindly bundled a rubber Johnny cover as well to keep your fresh new Note 10 Pro nice and safe. And I thought that was all, but I also just noticed that there's also a screen protector chucked in there as well, Bonza. Plus what looks like a free dollar dollar bill y'all, but it's actually just one X gold, a, uh, an invitation to join the X club. Sounds saucy. And there you go, that actually is everything you get crammed in the box now. Quite an action-packed extravaganza. Now the Note 10 Pro itself is an absolute unit. There's no other words for it. At near seven inches in size, this is definitely one for those who want their smartphone to be as big as humanly possible while still just about squeezing into their pocket or their handbag. This model right here is the purple version, which is a color that has been suddenly popularized by a particular American base smartphone manufacturer, of course, but I prefer the purple hue of the Note 10 Pro, to be perfectly honest. It's not in your face, it's a nice subtle hue, and I like the split two-tone design at that back end as well. They've actually done what OnePlus didn't on their most recent flagships and frosted the bit at the bottom that you're actually going to be clutching so that doesn't get all fingerprinty and greasy. And apparently the Infinix Note 10 Pro actually won an IF International Forum Design Award in the telecoms category, so it is officially a proper full-on hottie. As I mentioned before, you do get a headphone jack on the Note 10 Pro hip hip huzzah. You've also got an edge-mounted fingerprint sensor and a rather massive camera chassis as well, although thankfully it doesn't jut as far from the surface of the smartphone as some recent rivals. And good news on the SIM front as well, because you do have room in there for two SIM cards at once, plus a separate micro SD memory card slot. Alright, so it's time to get this absolute Godzilla of a smartphone all set up and ready for action, and then we will take a tour of the hardware, the software, and of course test out that gaming performance as well. So as with other Infinix smartphones, what you get here is of course the latest, freshest Android 11, but the look and feel has been changed up considerably with the addition of the XOS launcher 7.6. And this adds a lot of bonus customization on top of the standard Android stuff. So for instance, dive on into the home settings and you'll see you've got a buttload of gesture settings, which you can set right there on your desktops. You can play around with the appearance, get your desktop set up just the way you want them. And if you dive on into the settings menu as well, you'll find loads of other bonus bits in here that you don't get with standard Android. Frankly, there's far too much to even begin to cover in a single unboxing video, but I will hit on some of them, such as the video assistant tools and that gaming mode later on. For your security shenanigans, you've got that edge-mounted fingerprint sensor and so far seems perfectly responsive just a light tap of your digit and there you go straight in and you do have face and lock support on the infinix note 10 pro as well although this is obviously less useful in a covid world where we're all face masked up half the time but as you can see just as fast as for your storage well infinix offers you a choice of either 120 or 256 gigs of internal storage with the note 10 pro as you can see this is the higher model and you do have that micro sd support to expand it if you need to now, if you're after a budget smartphone to take in lots of Netflix, Disney Plus, YouTube, all that good stuff on the fly, well, the Infinix Note 10 Pro will certainly satisfy with its absolute whopper of a 6.95 inch IPS display. The Full HD Plus resolution 2460 by 1080 means you'll get nice crisp clarity when watching supported content. You can play around with the likes of the colour output in the display settings as well if you like. The colours are reasonably punchy as well for an IPS panel, nice wide viewing angles and on top brightness, no problems with that outdoor visibility. And when you are enjoying a nice bit of uh, YouTube, Netflix or whatever, you can drag out that video toolbox from the edge of the display and this offers up all kinds of great features. As you see there, you can use this to block notifications so your hot tech expert session isn't interrupted. You've also got screenshot and screen record features and the ability to play the audio in the background while the screen is hibernating. That's particularly good if you want to just listen to a podcast or something on YouTube uh, while you've got the phone tucked away in your pocket. The Infinix Note 10 Pro boasts a stereo speaker output as well, which is becoming increasingly common on budget smartphones. It's always great to see. And of course, you've got that 3.5mm headphone jack. Hallelujah. If you want a bit more privacy, you want to block out 
irritating family members, for instance. And you've got full support for a bit of DTS audio as well, which will fine tune the output depending on what you're actually up to. And you do have an equalizer setting in there too. So if entertainment is one of your priorities and you budget smartphone, well, the Infinix Note 10 Pro looks like it's up to the task. Now, powering the Infinix Note 10 Pro is one of MediaTek's Helio G95 chipsets backed by the six or eight gigs of RAM. This is the eight gig model. There's a bit of benchmark action for any enthusiasts out there. And just as that absolute behemoth of a display is perfectly well suited to a good bit of media streaming on Netflix and the rest, it should also give you a nice clear view of the action when you're gaming. Now the Game Zone is your one-stop shop for all of your installed Android titles. You can fast load them and you can also call up the Darlink engine, which basically ticks away in the background and makes sure that you're not disturbed again by any messages or incoming calls. And it can also provide CPU boosts, GPU boosts, make sure you've got all the resources you need to blast through those latest titles. So let's get some gaming on the go with a bit of Gamebench as well to see how well the Note 10 Pro handles the heat. You can actually configure these bits mid-game as well just by dragging out the menu which as you can see there allows you again to block notifications, you can actually take screenshots, record the action, all that good stuff too. So the first game I tested was Call of Duty Mobile, one of my personal favourite online shooters, although admittedly I am still a bit cack at it. But with the Infinix Note 10 Pro, I actually managed to blaze through pretty well, murdering morphos left, right and centre. That freaking massive display definitely does help. You can clearly spot any sneaky little buggers hiding away in the distance so you can plug them before they blow your bum off. With the maxed out frame rate and the top detail settings as well, as you can see there, I got a median frame rate of 59 frames per second on the occasional little dips below 50 fps for the most part it held very steadily around that 60 fps maximum frame rate and like a lot of budget smartphones these days you've got fast touch sampling as well which is absolutely critical for fast paced titles like call of duty mobile 180 hertz here on the infinix note 10 pro so porks swipes what have you instantly registered in game as for the battery well unsurprisingly infinix has managed to pack in a massive 5000 million capacity battery inside of the note 10 pro so hopefully that should be enough to keep you going all day long and should you need to give it a quick top up at any point it supports 33 watt fast charging as for that mighty camera setup around back well it's a quad lens setup headed up by a 64 megapixel primary sensor this comes back on the usual ai smart so it can determine exactly what you're trying to take a photo of and tweak the uh, camera settings to suit and you can shoot at that maximum 64 megapixel resolution if you like otherwise it shoots at 16 meg by default using pixel binning just to help brighten up the snap temper any strong lighting and such forth you've also got an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens here on the infinix note 10 pro which can also be used to shoot your super macro snaps if you so like and you've got all the usual bonus shenanigans including the obligatory beauty mode You've got your ever dependable portrait mode. You do have a dedicated two megapixel portrait lens around back as well as a two megapixel monochrome lens. Pretty standard budget fare. And if you think that's all of the bonus camera shenanigans, boy, have you got another thing coming. You've got tons of extra bonus stuff crammed in there as well, including a bit of pro action so you can tweak the likes of the ISO levels, the white balance, get a very precise kind of shot. And if you want to be shooting a good bit of home movie action, well, that's perfectly possible as well. It shoots at 1080p by default, but as you can see there, you can bump it up to 4K at 30 FPS, otherwise full HD at 60 FPS. As for the selfie cam, well, that's a 16 meg effort for all of your Instagram needs. You've got full support for the usual beauty mode shenanigans, which I'll probably need because it is last thing on a Friday. Got a bit of portrait action as well. And as always, frankly, I am the selfie king. So that in a nutshell right there, me lovelies, is the Infinix Note 10 Pro. Now, big thanks again to Infinix for sponsoring this unboxing and tour video. And please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Please do put subscribe, ding that notifications bell, yada, yada, yada. All that YouTube jazz. As always, love you.